Alright, here we are in a beautiful Lake Havasu City morning. Uh, a little slight breeze, a little breeze may affect our video a little bit. But uh, looking at a great looking 56 Chevy pickup, half ton, short bed. Uh, the same owners owned this baby about 12 years. It was done about 15 years ago here in Lake Havasu. Uh, very nice restoration. I would call it a dark plum. Uh, pretty much a stock body with limited modification to it, which gives it a good look and good feel. So shaved emblems is about it. Take a look. We'll walk around, give you a feel. Very straight body. restored by a gentleman here in Lake Havasu that restored a lot of cars. Um, I believe he's doing restorations now up in uh, Nevada. Um, but very nicely done. The paint's uh, very nice on the truck. Good driver show quality. Minimal shrinkage. Little tiny mark here and there. I'm not going to point out every little mark like I always say. But she's a good looking pickup. Little chip right there, nothing big. Nice little fine uh, hand painted uh, pinstripe. Couple little tiny road marks from rocks, but truck's got 25,000 miles on it. You'd never know it, which is a good thing because you know you can drive it. You gotta love the eyebrows on these trucks. It's very nice. This would make a great hauler for just about anybody. Does have air conditioning, does have a, uh, about a 330 horse uh, Chevy 350 with a 700 R4, Dana, Dana axle in the rear. Door jam to door jam, she's very nice. Kind of got like a gray velour in it. Very comfy interior. Like the fuel tank is still behind the cab there, which is nice. Doors shut nice. As you notice, it's a big window. Nice, solid little pickup. Inside of the bed's got the same quality. There's stainless polish, stainless hardware just about everywhere. These really neat uh, gate latches so you don't have chains hanging and swinging in the back. Chipping things up for you. I like the stock bumper feel. Nice resto rod pickup. The wood's very nice in it. You can catch by the reflections in here that this bed is straight as a whistle. I like the way Chevrolet is highlighted with the pinstriping.
It's just a little small fuel stain there. I'll bet that'll buff off. All right, here we are under the hood. Really nice under the hood here. It's about a 330 horse uh, 350 Chevy V8. Um, polished brass radiator, that's really nice. It's got a 700 R4 back uh, hooked up to it, so you can do some good highway driving with it. It's got a polished Edelbrock intake manifold performer with a Holley carburetor. Nice bow tie valve covers, block hugger headers, GM HEI ignition. It's like a nicely smooth firewall, very nice and tidy. Be a great affordable little hot rod for somebody. Does have vintage AC. It's got a polished billet uh, belt drive system. It's very nice. High amp alternator. Does have power steering pump right there. Is that a remote oil filter there, Gary? Yes, it is. Neat. A nice uh, polished stainless Allen hardware on all the fender apron bolt downs. It's a nice little build. Somebody spent a lot of money on this build a few years back. Anyway, we're going to move on to the rest of the car. And of course, when you're all done here, you want to go to spudsgarage.com and take a better peek. All right, let's take a better look here in the interior of the truck. She is a truck. Cool truck. Nice little bow tie steps. It does have uh, retractable seat belts here. And uh, does have wiper arms. Take a peek there. This power seat, it does have a power driver seat and it does work. The key has to be on, so I'll turn the key on and show you. Just to give you a quick idea. Nice little tilt column. The VIN is a Victor 3 Apple 56L 014348. Factory location, factory VIN tag. Nice little flip down armrest here. Gonna hop in here. Looks like a billet aluminum e brake assembly. In dash audio. Very nice in this little pickup. And by the way, we do have air conditioning. And like I said a minute ago, the wipers are functional. Let's fire this old girl up. Take it down the street. Dakota Digital Dash. Column shift is a nice uh, nice thing. It keeps the shifter out of your way on the floor here. It gives you a little extra leg room. Sounds good. All the gauges look like they're working. Hey Gary, I'm stealing your truck. Let's take it for a drive. It does have a 700 R4. Pickup. This is one you can drive and enjoy. I'm going to turn it around right here. Take you back. Of course, you're in Lake Havasu City here, and there uh, are big boats. Second gear, third gear, overdrive. There you go. We're going to shoot the other side All of the right. car now. Let's take a look underside here. Very traditional, very nice. It's been lowered a little bit in the nose. It's 
stabilizer bar there. Spent BF Goodrich TA radials on it. Uh, 21570 R14s in the front, so it's going to have big and littles, I assume, here. We'll know in a minute. Really solid little pickup. And the rear tires are uh, 275 60R15s, so as I suspected, we got big and littles. Nice little GM updated GM axle in the rear there. What's that? Yeah, it's a Dana 44 rear axle. Nice and tidy and clean and solid. Good dry climate rig. Stainless hardware stuff there. If you're looking for a really clean, tidy old truck, let's not call it old, let's call it nice little truck. You'll want to go to spudsgarage.com. Spuds Garage YouTube is where you're at. And of course, you'll see this baby on Spuds Garage eBay. Thanks for enjoying the